Hello kids, welcome to the session at Learn Forward platform by Feathercap. So I'm your English facilitator Garima Singh, hope you all remember. And today we'll be starting with our chapter 1 of book Fly High. So hope you all are ready with your book Fly High. And chapter 1 is School is Fun. Okay, so I know that I'm pretty sure that you all love to go to school and you all find that really school is Fun. So we'll be reading about a story which tells us about a little girl whose name is Ria. So this story is about a little girl Ria who goes to school for the first time. Let's read the story to know how she spends her day first day at school. Now I am sure that you know whenever it's a first day of anything be it a first day of your school be it a first day of your job you all have you know something that troubles you. We all are excited yes no doubt we all are excited but on the other hand you know you have certain doubts also how is going to how the school is going to be uh, who's going to be my teacher will I be able to make friends or not so there are many things that you know goes on and on so similarly we have a girl Ria who will be going to the school for the first time so now let's read about it now here we have an activity you have to tick mark the things that you go to school so it's a bag school bag do you carry the school bag to school yes then we have a camera is a camera required at school no we have a doll we don't require it at school because we already have an activity room in school which has plenty of toys for us to play. The next thing is a book. Yes, we need a book. Then what is this? This is some box which is not required. Then this is a briefcase which is not required or if yes, then we have a water bottle. We do need a water bottle and we do need a set of colors. Okay, so now let's move forward. So now we will be reading about the story. Ria is going to school for the first time today. She is happy but she is also a little afraid. As I said that you know whenever it's the first day of your job, your first day of school, first day of college, we are excited. On the other hand, we are afraid too. So what is the meaning of afraid? It means when you feel fear, you have, you know, you are little scared of it, right? So Ria was happy but she was uh, afraid also. Ria asked her mom, will the other children play with me? Now Ria, she asked her mom that mom, I, am I going to be, you know, am I going to be able to make friends and will other children play with me? Uh, mother says, Ria, be nice to them and then all the children will play with you. So if you are good to everyone, definitely others will be good to you too. Ria gets ready for school. She wears her new blue skirt, white shirt and red tie. So now when we all go to school, we have a proper, proper uniform which we wear. Similarly, Ria was ready and she was wearing her school uniform. Ria's parents take her to school. Ria's mother says, goodbye Ria, be good Ria. Ria's father also says, goodbye Ria, be good. So both the parents, they went to school and they both said goodbye be good to others and take care of yourself Ria says goodbye mama goodbye papa Ria goes into her classroom her classroom has pink walls it has little red tables and chairs there are many beautiful pictures on the wall so we all you know love our classrooms our classrooms are really beautiful full of pictures full of chart papers we have so many tools for the activity similarly Ria's classroom was clean and it was pink in color with red and red tables and chairs and there were beautiful pictures on the wall okay so now who is going to school for the first time Absolutely correct. Ria is going to school for the first time. What did your mother say when you were going to school for the first time? Think and tell. Now you know you have to go back and you have to memorize because class 1 is not the first class of your school. Nursery, LKG, UKG or the play group, right? So definitely mama papa must have given you some tips. Mama papa must have advised you what to do and what not to do. So you will all think and tell me. Okay, Ria says hello to her new classmates. Now who are your classmates? The classmates are the ones who are the friends who are in the same class with you, right? 
Her classmates say hello to her too. Ria's teacher is Mrs. Swati. So Ria's teacher is Swati. She comes and says, Good morning, children. All the children say, Good morning, ma'am. Mrs. Swati talks to the children kindly. Now, Mrs. Swati, she's very nice, she's very sweet, and she is very kind. She talks to the children kindly, that is, softly. She takes them out to play. All the children are very happy. Definitely, when we all go out to play, we all feel happy. It's soon time it is soon time to go home ria's mother and father come to take ria home now it was you know hardly any time was left to go home so ria's parents they were you know uh, going to take her from the school ria waves to her new friends she says goodbye sara goodbye jackie sara and jackie wave her too so now when we go out we say bye bye right similarly she said bye to jackie and bye to sara goodbye ria they say ria is happy she had fun at school now ria was really happy because you know she had a good day she had friends like sara and jackie and even the teacher was good so it was a good uh, uh, it was a good time she spent at school and she had fun okay whom does ria say goodbye whom does she say goodbye absolutely correct to jackie and sara we learn new things and make new friends at school yes we do make new friends at school and a group of fish you know when one uh, more than one fish uh, makes a group it is called a school how do you feel on your first day at school think and tell so again you need to go back and you need to think about it next we have the exercise based on the chapter which we have read right so first says it's a multiple choice question you need to find out the correct spelling of children so which is the correct spelling of children a b c or d quickly tell me Yes, the first one, A part is the correct spelling of children. And what is the singular form of children? Child, yes. Child is singular and children is, you know, many. So, it is a plural form of uh, child. So, when there are many uh, uh, kids, many child, so we say children. Which of the following is opposite word of dirty? So, which is the opposite of dirty? Filthy, stained, clean and dusty. Clean is the opposite of dirty. Next, which of the following word means the same as feeling fear? So, which of the given words means the same as feeling fear? Afraid. Right. Next, read the given extract and answer the questions that follow. Ria goes into her classroom. Her classroom has pink walls. It has little red tables and chairs. There are many beautiful pictures on the wall. So these are the lines which they have given us, the extract they have given us. And based on this extract, we need to answer the questions. The first says, Ria's classroom has many, has clean dash walls. So it has pink, white or blue walls. Yes, it has pink walls. Next, where does Ria go? Where does Ria go? Yes, Ria was going to school for the first time. There are many dash pictures on the wall. There are many beautiful pictures on the wall. Next, Ria's classroom has blue tables and chairs. Is it a correct statement? Were the tables of blue color? No, they were of red color. So, it's a false statement. Okay, coming to the next. Again, the second exercise says that we need to tick mark the correct option. Ria went to school for the dash time. So, it was her first time to school. Ria's parents took her to school. Ria's teacher is, who was Ria's teacher? Yes, Swati ma'am. So, Mrs. Swati. Ria's friends are, who were the ones whom she waved her hand and said goodbye? Yes, Sara and Jackie. Now we need to identify which of the sentence is right and which of the sentence is wrong. For the correct sentence, we will write true and for the wrong one, we will write false. 
Ria was not afraid of going to school. Was she afraid? Yes, she was excited as well as afraid. So, true. Ria's parents took her to school. Did she go all alone or along with her parents? Yes, she went with her parents. Next, Ria's classroom has white walls. Were the walls of white color? No. The walls were of pink color. Absolutely correct. Mrs. Swati talked to the children kindly. Was Swati ma'am kind or she was rude? She talked to the children kindly. So it's a correct sentence. The last one, Ria had fun at school. Did she have fun at school? Yes, she enjoyed her first day at school and she made friends with Sara and Jackie. Coming to the next, we need to answer the questions based on the chapter. Number one, where was Ria going for the first time? Where was Ria going for the first time? Yes, Ria was going to school for the first time. What did Ria wear to get ready for school? So what was she wearing for going to school? Was she in a casuals or party dress? No, she was wearing her school uniform for going to school. Had she enjoyed at school on the first day? Yes, she enjoyed at school for the first day and she was happy, right? So that was all about the story we have read about Ria. So I hope that you will go back home, read the story once again. And you have to think about the two things. The first question was, how was your first day at school? The second was, what did your mother tell you when it was your first day at school, right? So you need to ask mama, you need to think and then we'll get back. So see you tomorrow till then. Take care. Happy learning. So see you tomorrow till then. Take care. Happy learning.